It is time. Cody, so high, run about an hour in. Are you? Oh, you're ahead of me. I am so freaking pumped. It has been like, okay, this game, I feel like has been weighed on, like since around Skyrim. Like that's when people started theorizing like this type of a game for Pokemon. And got even more amplified with like Breath of the Wild and stuff. And this, I am so freaking pumped to finally play this game i've been waiting on it for so long uh oh my gosh i'm so excited so uh yeah i have not watched a single thing other than the shiny hunting method that had zero spoilers so this is my like first initial i haven't watched any gameplay yet other than like the trailers and stuff i am freaking pumped presented by game freak I want English. Progress is being automatically saving disable. I probably will disable that. Here we go. Welcome to my rail realm. Realm. Located beyond both time and space. That is Arceus talking to us. Is well thou art art here. I am what humans call Arceus. Yo, what's up, Pogo? Uh, I could have made it through without spoilers, but someone had oh stop it. You know you wanted to see the new mons. I wish to know thine appearance. I'm just gonna go with the basic boy. What is thy name? Oh, this is so cool. I'm so excited. All right. Yep. That, that would be me. <laughs> See money. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. It's really, this is the first time like that we haven't had a professor do this for us. It's literally the Pokemon God talking to us. I ordered mine from Pokemon Center. It's all oh, that sucks, dude. That's why I always I just downloaded it last night. I don't have like a hard copy. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Okay. Seek out all Pokemon, and we'll find Arceus. Okay. It's an iPhone. This is so cool. I'm so excited. Hey, it's Arceus. What plushie did it come with? Hey, get off the keyboard, please. Luca, I really need you to get off the desk, bro. Damn. Damn. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be awesome. Getting Breath of the Wild vibes. What are you doing? Wake up. Oh, do wake up, won't you?
Are you alive, my boy? I still don't know what starter I'm going to pick. What is going on above Mount Coronet over there? Thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? Where am I? Uh, I'm so excited. I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky. You understand? Come now, who in the world does that? I must say your clothing is unusual. You don't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know. I see, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some uh, directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Nope, I sure don't. I went out at midnight and got mine, but didn't play because I had to work. Oh, that sucks, dude. So you don't know anyone here and you don't know, uh, even know where to spend the night. Well, this proper pickle indeed. Are you uh, quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. What is going on above Mount Coronet right now? I see. Well, no gentleman would have been in a person in such need. Oh my, I completely forgotten. I just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. But do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. You know who I am? Ah, right, that's a relief. I th uh, though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Well, these Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures, they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Sea Money. That name has quite a ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. But I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three. They just ran off. Terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg of you. I don't know who I'm going to pick yet. I really don't. I don't know who I'm going to pick yet. Oh my gosh. Dude. Never thought. Oh my gosh. Look at it. We're in an open world Pokemon game. <laughs> There's a glowing, beeping object over there. You found something that resembles a phone. <laughs> Probably your phone, but it changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this Arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. So Arceus sent us here. And gave us a phone. Okay. Oh my, dude, this is so fun. I'm so excited. Last, yet another miss. I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. <laughs> I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it. Perhaps I should tell you a bit more about the three first. Now that one's Rallet. Rallet can photosynthesize like a plant. Apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. That one over there is Cyndaquil. Fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. That Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water and it can battle using shell-like object on its belly. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing and how to go about catching Pokemon. Who do I want, guys? I can't decide. I kind of want... Ty 50? Jeez! I kind of want Typhlosion because of the ghost typing. I kind of want Samurott. Like, just because I'm a water boy, I don't really want Decidueye, I don't think, because I don't want grass fighting. Look at the Pokeballs. 
That won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already the Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Oh, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one at them in Pokemon, and why the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met. Sorry, I'm trying to see what was at my door. Uh, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Uh, though far be it for me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Alright, throwing balls. This is important. Hold down the ZR button, which is this one back here. To ready Pokemon, take aim. You can keep moving around as you do. Use the right stick to adjust your angle. Okay. Release the ZR button. If it hits Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've ready to Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. Okay. Alright, which one do we want to catch? There's Oshawa, Rallet's up there, where's Cyndaquil? Oh, there's a Cyndaquil. Oh, which one do I want? I don't know. Uh, let's go do it on my Dude, uh, I don't know which one I want. Send a quill it is. Uh, it seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business. See money? Uh, jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Oh, wait, we have to catch all three of them, so I don't have to decide yet. Uh, I wonder how far we can throw. I didn't hit him. Bro. Hey. You know any people fear to even approach Pokemon? Never mind catching them. Bravo indeed. Just one more. Alright. Where's the Rallet? So I want to eat this. We almost had it. I'm trying to see how far we can do this. Okay. Oh, he busted out. I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give another go there. Ugh, go there, old boy. I'm so freaking pumped. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, see, money, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so abli when you've only just arrived here? It's a weird word, abli. One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here now. Yeah, the god of Pokemon yeeted me from the sky. That object is an arc phone, you say? When odd device, could it be uh, guiding you somehow? I'm gonna guess since God gave it to me. <laughs> if you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such catalog Pokedex. Yes, proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. And her you, a person with clear talent for catching Pokemon. I love that this is like hundreds of years, it's like before Pokemon actually started. It's pretty sweet. You've convinced me, Mr. Professor. 
All right. Hmm. Let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then. Onward to Jubilife Village. Are we finally just now noticing the giant dark hole above Mount Coronet? Uh, thank you for your tireless work, keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so you'll forgive my uh, bringing him into the village for a bit. Let's go. This way, if you please. Your life village has come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I'm assuming they become Team Galactic later on for... That's quite an outfit right there. Yeah, we definitely do not look like these people one bit. This is so cool. Man, this is, like, this is so far off from any Pokemon game we've ever had. We're not supposed to talk to strangers, you know. Who's that with the professor? We do look very different than you guys. I had to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past the bridge there, then go left. The Wallflower, it's called. Okay. My phone's ready now. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Okay. Use the button to view the map. So the minus button pulls up the map. You can consult the map for guidance on your next destination and information on your missions. You also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions. Okay. Cool. Gotta have our open world guidance markers. They took so much from, like, Breath of the Wild. It's already so evident, which I'm fine with. That's my favorite game. Aren't you awfully suspicious? The Wallflowers for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Rip. Well, who are you? i never seen anyone dressed like you. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be... Minced me to those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago when I had to take my bed. But Professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just, uh, as Akari says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, so this chick's name is Akari. That's kind of a cool name. But everything will be quite alright now. See, money here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Uh, excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain... Silence? 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 Silene's permission? I'll allow it. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hey, that person looks just like the head of Team Galactic. I'm already suspicious of these people. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me, si is it Silene? Silene? How do you, I'm not sure how to say it. I think it's like... Silene, maybe? Tell me how you helped secure his Pokemon where they slipped his controller and now it seems like you would like us uh, to feed and house you in exchange for our ongoing labor. 
You look to be 15 or so. Hey, we're not 10 anymore, boys. Let's go. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply tell you we're finally a teenager in a Pokemon game. Tomorrow we shall see if uh, you can prove yourself worthy. Most reasonable deception, Captain. Now would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. That captain is definitely related to Cyrus from Team Galactic. 100%. Like, just look at him. No matter, the rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation, then. Any old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it uh, for three today. <laughs> I just got your text, Cooper. <laughs> We're not 10! <laughs> Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much uh, obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. <laughs> Professor Laventon, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Yeah, I kind of fell out of the freaking sky. <laughs> Literally. Arceus yeeted me out of space into this world. She's not believing it. So, uh, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena concern myself only with facts. Now, you already uh, know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Uh, that they are in the grass and forest, by water, wherever they like. Our job as the survey corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess. Oh my gosh, I'm sleepy. I woke up early to do this. <laughs> As we see money will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. Uh, this means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We have a hard enough time catching even one. But to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that uh, fled to the beach weren't on the attack. Uh, the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball win, and it seems our new friend is uh, fearless enough to do just that. Uh, does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? The captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. Slow progress on that Pokedex sure clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start and rain in. So we're basically, we're being slow, captain's angry. That captain's gotta be bad. You make it into the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal. So our, we're trying to get into the Galaxy team, it seems. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Sea Money has a trial to pass to join the survey courts. Not to worry, I have a complete confidence in Sea Money's skills. And get some clothes. Yeah, also Cyrus, Silene, like, the, literally their names are, yeah. Sea Money, was it? That's why they gave us BDSP before this, to, like, refresh us on all the bad guys and junk. For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. If you fail to pass the trial, I put you tomorrow. You must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death. Pokemon getting wild out here, bro. And perhaps your death in the wilds. Pokemon out here trying to kill us. Captain's telling someone at, uh, like Hasui and that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, uh, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think the time, uh, it's time we turn in for the night. It's a good thing we can't, uh, fall out of futons we sleep in here. I imagine your new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both good night. Uh, yes, good night. I'm still waiting for the mail to, uh, run before I, oh, that sucks. I just downloaded it. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Yeah, we got yeeted out of that black hole. Like, head to the survey quarters you've been assigned. Okay.
guess that's my house. Sleep until the morning. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work. To read them anytime, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't you uh, wish your toils to be forgotten? Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. I can't wait uh, for it to get here. Should be hearing our dude. I I'm already just blown away by the like the look, the feel. Like it's so different already, and I'm all of 20 minutes in. Save your progress. Press up button to open the menu. Then scroll with the ZL or ZR button, okay? Uh, until you reach the save screen. There's already an autosave function you can use to have your progress saved automatically. You can enable or disable autosave by scrolling. I'm going to disable. Can we try that before we fall asleep? Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. So there's save your progress right there. Hey, Lexi. You watching some Pokemon? I want to turn off autosave. Um, let's say autosave disabled. Cool. Uh, B is save and exit. Nice. All right. Uh, reset until tomorrow morning. Yep, let's do it. Whoa. All righty then. Next day. Good morning, C Money. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so let's give it all, our all. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if the lane is strange and new to you. Let's get to the headquarters, Captain. Selena's waiting. quick gonna move I'm trying to look at my camera over here I'm gonna move it up a little bit like to right there should be good or there all right uh oh right here okay Survey Corps offices are here on the first floor. Please, uh, don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they, uh, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to the rights. Was that like our new Pokemon Center? The medical corps? That man's with the security corps, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Selene Simon is here. You may enter. Let's get straight to it. Uh, if you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Field Lands and catching three different po species of Pokemon, Badoof, Starly, and Shinx. Okay. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide uh, for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. Can I have some clothes? I will lend you one of the Survey Corps satchels. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, wait, is that just, oh, there's an Abra just straight up chilling over there. That's kind of cool. He's just floating. That's pretty sweet. Like, check out that Abra. Satchel doesn't exactly match uh, your mode of dress. Kari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone. Uh, bro, I just lost a shiny Starly. I oh, did you really? No! <laughs> Was it like full odds or were you hunting for it? Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone and you can check the task while uh, you have waiting. Uh, so, okay. Uh, there are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure while requests are optional. So we do have side missions. That's pretty sweet. Pardon, see money come with me for a moment. Dude, that sucks that you lost a shiny Starly. A jolly good morning to everyone. Is uh, something the matter, Professor Laventon? In order to complete our Pokedex and we'll simply survive in this unforgiving land, Sea Money absolutely must pass this trial. Full odds, I don't know the shiny hunting method yet. Uh, it has something to do with the, uh, the like, outbreaks. You Like, the outbreak shiny odds are, like, a hunt 1 in 158. Like, it's, it's stinking ridiculous how big the odds are inside of an outbreak. So look for outbreaks, and they can be 1 in 158, I believe, which is a stupid odds. Otherwise, it's like the 1 in 4,000, whatever. Which Pokemon do I want? I'm between Cyndaquil and Oshawott. I kind of like that Oshawott is a dark type. Or that Samurott's a dark type. I kind of like that, but I also like that Cyndaquil's a ghost. Dark or ghost? Ugh. Dark or ghost? Dark water or fire ghost? Uh, decisions. Decisions. I'm not doing Rowlet. They ruined his final evolution. I'm going dark water. Go in dark water. We're doing it. Well, and with that, one of the Pokemon you caught Prelude Breach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Oshawott back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it. It is yours. Alright. Oshawott it is. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. They look as if they're cheering on their friend Oshawott. Perhaps they're just jealous that kiss help you on the trial. That could be, uh, could well be. They did go dashing from the village when somebody fell out of the sky, after all. But not to worry, you two. I'll have to assist, um, I'll have you assist me with my research for now. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, by the by, what species has Captain Sunling charged you with catching? I don't know yet. That's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial. You obtain 20. Okay. These Pokeballs will be handcrafted, but they work as a work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village uh, for your trial. Turn left after you exit the headquarters, then head for the gate. Uh, I haven't even, like, I literally just received my first Pokemon, so I haven't even had a chance. I've been playing for all, like, 30 minutes. I haven't even battled or anything yet. All right, we said over here. Yeah, turn left.
Oh, what a curious get-up you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mer uh, mercantile needs here. <laughs> I've heard t uh, talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a take I'd like to hear. Or a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've, uh, you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full in of interesting surprises. Got talks weird. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant success. So what do you say? How about you and I see our Pokemon stand up to one another and battle? Sure, let's battle. I haven't battled yet. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. No crap. All right, let's do this. Poke a pee. This looks awesome. Yo. This looks really good. You can run around while your Pokemon are battling. This is so sick! You can freaking run around while you're battling. That's so cool. Moves items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Uh, I once was hunting for fun on Crystal, got lucky, and got a shiny pigeon. Oh, that sucks. I remember whenever I was playing Silver for the first time, I found a full-eyed un full shiny mill tank, and I had no clue what it was. Like, I was like, what, 12 or something like that? As they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Uh, Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open a satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select change moves. Yo, what's up, dude? So few people here have their own Pokemon if uh, only more knew how to use Pokeballs. The fact that you could freaking run around and look at different angles and stuff while you're... Oh, that's so cool. All right. And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. This is where you left it at last night. It takes you like 30 minutes to get to this point. You know, you just gave me potions. More galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly after all. Yeah, dude, what's up? I know you. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Alright, let's go do our trial. When you're leaving Jubilife Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell rest the guardsmen where you're going. That way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Okay. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. YOLO. I'll turn off the You're seeming incorrect. I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside of the safety of the village. Please take care and come back alive. All right. I guess we're going. Yeah, here we go. Dude, look at this map. It's actually pretty big. Here we go. It's a camp. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, the professor is something wrong. So far, I love the game. Can't wait to go home. But yeah, dude, I'm freaking pumped to play this today. Captain Selene got a hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing captain, but what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. See, my talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you see. So the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Well, I'm sure C-Money will be fine. Let's begin the trial. All right. So 
what that guy looks like. This is Aspiration Hill, the species of Pokemon you're meant to catch alive are still here. Dude, look at it. We get to explore all of this. This is just like freaking Breath of the Wild. <laughs> uh, it's just like Breath of the Wild. <laughs> That's hilarious. The key is aimed carefully, not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. All right. Dew has a mellow disposition. That means it tends to not run for people, so this will be easy. All right, come here, little homie, Badoof. Oh, I need to aim a little higher, apparently. Don't need to aim higher. Here we go. Okay. Cut Badoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. I'm sure I'm, she's going to teach us how to like send it out and battle it and stuff here pretty soon. There's a Starly. There's Starly. There's a skittish little things. They'll run if startled. See, I want a Starly just for the new Staraptor uh, variant. You should be able to get close to them. If you crouch, it'll be harder to spot. So you crouch and sneak up on them, okay? Press the B button to crouch. It'll make it harder for a while. Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. Okay. So we can crouch and sneak up on them. Got it. Okay. Easy enough. That's Starly Ka as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. I'm sure she's going to teach us to battle here. Thinks is what's left. I forgot there's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Selene tells us, have an item at the ready, but you want to send out a Pokemon, press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item, press X. The Captain's real expert on these things. Okay, so X cycles our menu. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one. Have it investigate. If Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. So X will do that. Interesting. Well, if you don't have battle Pokemon, yeah, you do. You do. Yeah, I'm going to have to battle him. I mean, it's like in the like a Route 1 encounter. You don't you can just throw a Pokeball and catch it. Did you already tell that, more or less? I thought you might. I can never uh, tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Okay? Take cues by focusing. Use ZL button to focus on a Pokemon. You can see how easy it is to catch. Okay, so green, yellow, and orange. Uh, oh, the more arrows you see pointing up above, are going to be easier to catch. That's interesting. Okay. An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it has picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Okay. I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them and try to catch them. By now, you've caught several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one, one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. Okay? It's easy to start a battle against wild Pokemon. Simply throw the ball it contains one of your Pokemon at it. If you can't see, uh, I'm ready to throw it on a Pokemon, press the X button. Okay. Okay. Have I knocked it out of its enraged form? Huh? 
Okay. So do I have to knock it out first? That was a crit. So do I have to knock it out? Okay. So it said don't knock it out. Okay. Gotcha. So she was like, no, don't knock it out. Oh. Didn't explain that very well. Oshawa's pretty low on HP. There we go. You approach this Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling and completing the Pokedex as we've been ordered. I'm so curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. Did you pick Oshawott as well? I was between Oshawa and Cyndaquil, but I like the water dark typing. I think that's pretty sweet. But Ghost and Cyndaquil was sweet too, so I don't know. Uh, if I play it again, I'll probably choose Cyndaquil. But I know you can catch them all. Congrats, Sea Money. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Oh, boy. The skills like yours, I suppose this is a foregone conclusion. We best report to Captain Celine and uh, head back to Jubilee Village. Sucks that the stars are shining like, yeah, I know. Can't you catch them in the wild, though? Before then? All right. You can bring up six Pokemon with you onto the field in theory, though we've never had anyone skill enough to do so. Come on now, you two. Uh, let's not dilly dally. Captain Celine wants our report in headquarters. But Captain Celine will be very pleased. Sorry, I'm over here trying to make card deals and also play the game. I saw us catch all the new Pokemon you encounter. Yeah, I, I, you want the shiny uh, charm and stuff too. All right, let's go tell her we did our job. It seems we won't uh, have to leave you to die after all. <laughs> oh my gosh. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Yeah, give me some clothes to look like you guys. change in the room you used last night then you're to report at once on to the third floor present yourself in uniform to our commander this is your first official order from your captain okay.
Um, here we go. Let's already change our outfit. Okay. You can get a lot of stuff. That's pretty sweet. Change our color of eyes. Let's go with the pale blue. You have black eyes. Ink eyes. For marine. Ooh, I kind of like that. With the ultramarine. One sec. Sold my rainbow Charizard V Max. That lasted all of one day. Glad to sell that thing quick. Sold out. Happy to get that thing on super quick. All right, look how well our survey corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. As you've changed regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Give me a hat. The hat's kind of lame, not going to lie. Not, not a fan of the hat. Not a fan of the hat. <clears throat> now present yourself to the commander. Where's the commander? Upstairs, third floor. That's what she said. All right. This is awesome. You are the commander. All right. What's your name, bro Chacho? I've been waiting for you. Are you the main bad guy? I am Kam Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I bet you these guys are bad. I bet you these guys are bad. You should have hit me up, dude. I listed it yesterday in like four places. <laughs> I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Oh, are we about to battle? Oh, we just got the crap beat out of us, I'm assuming. You've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Okay, we try to fight this man. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Na uh, naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial. Uh, that was up to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of the Jubilaf village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Sea Money, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. <coughs> Galaxy Teams. Alright. So I think we pretty much get to actually start the game. Ah... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel you, dude. I just sold mine for uh, 450 shipped. 
Oh, that's important. Uh, they did 465 good, so it came out to 450, which I think is fair. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you'll be move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer towards that goal of yours to seek out every last Pokemon. Here you will need this. Recipe for crafting Pokeballs. One Apricorn and one Tumblestone. Okay. $3,000 as well. You have to buy the necessary materials. Oogie! Okay. Uh, you're an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Uh, the last one sold for like 500 on eBay. So I figure outside of eBay, like, eh, it's fine. Now as the experienced craft person here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your... I need to take it off the eBay. Uh, you can buy some items in the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. We can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. I think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let me make sure. I will... Right. Oh, it was already on. I didn't have it actually put it in there. Alright. The basics of crafting. Is it craft works to learn how to craft items? Well done earning a place on our team. My name is Anth. I'm a local clothier. Professor asked that I ready you for a change of clothes, so here you go. I hope they fit. What kind of clothes you giving me? Everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. Hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. This way to the craft works. You got it. All right, let's get going. I want to get into the game. We've been kind of in all the tutorial for a hot minute. You can use the workbench here at the Craftworks anytime you need to make an item in the village. This does feel like the length of I mean, I get it. There's a brand new Pokemon, like totally different, right? So we need to have the tutorial. But this feels similar to like the Sun and Moon intro where it took forever to get through all the tutorial stuff. I just spent the money you got from the cat dog clothes or whatever you think is best. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. You can use the workbenches in Jubilife Village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Alright, so we want to craft a Pokeball. Uh, we have one of each, so I guess we can craft one. Nice, that was it. Cool, easy peasy. Basics of crafting. Complete. Now that's some fire craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. Ugh. You will recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down with the Pokeballs we craft when we make use of the power to catch them. Uh, also, more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. You received a Pokedex. Yay! Cool. I prefer this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well and aim to seek out all Pokemon there in this grand That's quite lots of research. Yeah, still the professor fill out the deck. So the same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a Serpent Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Field Lands Camp whenever you're ready. All right, let's start. Let's do this. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the field lands camp, would you mind taking care of the request for me? So he's giving me a side mission. I'm sending guards, so I can't leave my post. But I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. People who have something to ask will have a request icon displayed above them. If you fill the request, you'll receive a nice reward. Okay. So this is like the side missions. There's this Pokemon called Wormpoid. We heard of it. Uh, well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Laventon. He told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling, 
uh, and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said the phenomenon is called evolution. Yes, some Pokemon can undergo evolution, which change their appearance and stats. If uh, one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you'll be able to select evolve when viewing the Pokemon here. That's pretty sweet, so it doesn't automatically evolve. You have to choose to evolve it. I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? It'll be a reward it for you, I promise. Just give me a Wurmple. You got it, dude. I'll get you a Wurmple. All right. So you get to choose when your Pokemon evolve. If it's high, that's pretty sweet. All right. I just want to get out of here. All right. Let's go to the field lands. Hey, Pokemon Trainer, are you still in here? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time, okay? Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number, variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex and then check what kinds of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. When you focus on a wild Pokemon in the field using ZL, you can also instantly check. You haven't got me yet. I haven't got crap yet. Uh, open your program right to that page. The Pokemon have some unusual research tasks. Be sure to check them out. Okay, that's interesting. Must catch a battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Interesting. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for you. One last piece of advice. If you have a Pokemon attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Hey, you're a WWE fan, aren't you? Driving, so I got you on my speaker. Gotcha. Get to dodge. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a. I'm pretty sure WWE fan. If you are, I'm doing a watch party for the Rumble tomorrow in Discord. I'll be streaming it live into Discord, uh, and then we'll be uh, like just hanging out and stuff for anyone that wants to come watch the Rumble and. Just hang out if you're in or around. All right. So I would. Um, oh, why is dodge? Gotcha. Sweet. Wee wee. Well, if you want, tomorrow we're watching the Rumble on Discord. You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with uh, how many Bidoof you've caught. That's right, catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more. Okay. And when it's time to battle Pokemon, remember the captain switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X when you're ready. Pokemon, give it a try now if you want to go on ahead. Alright, can we just play? You're not going to attack me? Okay. Can I just catch you? Or do I have to battle you? Okay. So you gain experience there. I'll get on for a... a middle of the nice! Yeah, I'm going to stream it to Discord. So like, if anyone can't watch or whatever, I'll be... Like, have it in there for people to load up. And then just have the chat open. Or if anyone wants to hang out, talk. It should be fun. Yeah, it's on Saturday night, dude. Tomorrow night, uh, pre-show starts at like 6. And the actual show starts at 7. Well, central time. I don't know what it is for you. You're Eastern, right? So it'll be a little bit later. Uh, I think it, it's both. Like, But the Rumble particularly is on Saturday. Don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on Pokemon. Check your research stats off for it. ZL, then down. Okay. 
Do I have to catch a Starly without being spotted? So I need to, let's see here, ZL. Wait, hold on. Wait, how do I get to my decks? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Starly here. Number you've caught. So there's all the tasks. We have to catch 25 of these stupid things. Number defeated. We have to defeat a bunch of them. Number of different forms you've obtained. Okay, so we have to catch it without being spotted. And, okay, Jesus. Okay. That's a lot. Yeah, I think they're doing both week uh, weekends. Like just, or week, you know, like Saturday and Sunday for various ones. Uh oh I spotted. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, it spotted me. Gosh dang it. Definitely spotted me. What about this one? Oh gosh, I'm failing miserably. I don't know if... Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Bruh. I'm falling apart. I, it definitely saw me. I definitely failed at that. Okay. What about Shinx? It definitely saw me, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I, one of them didn't spot me. Okay, but the other one did. All right, what about Shinx? Number defeated, number caught, number you defeated with ground-type moves. That's interesting. Uh, times you've seen it use bite, number of different forms you've obtained, so... We need to defeat these things, or fight it, really. All right, let's fight it. Can I attack back here? Okay, we're just gonna defeat it. We didn't use quick attack or bite, but that's okay. There's another one here. There's the quick attack that we needed to see. Okay. Things avoided my attack. What? Chase has avoided my attacks, bro. There's the quick attack. Ow. Crit? Was it a crit or did I just... Oh, rollout gains attack as it goes on. Okay. Alright, sweet. Cool. What other mons we got? Water. Will this guy not let me go over this bridge yet? There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first star recruit. Then you'd probably be alright. Okay. We go in the water? Are we swimming in a Pokemon game? Oh no. We're just dying. Okay. Whoops. Uh, who is?
his mic? Uh, did not want to do that. Uh, X is what does it. Okay. Hey, am I out of balls? Am I out of Pokeballs? You gave me like a million before. Okay, I guess we're out of Pokeballs. Badoof game cries up. Didn't they give me like a million Pokeballs? Did I not get to keep those? That's lame. Yeah, I realize I need to go talk to her, but I kind of want to explore for a second. Oh, there's the Wurmple homie wants. Okay. I need more balls. This <laughs> lock failed. <laughs> right. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Buzzle. It's got an aggression disposition. Yo, I want the Wurmple, though, for homie that needed it. <laughs> I guess you have to wait till you get Surf. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx. You'll need to battle it to catch it. Well, it doesn't matter, because I don't have any balls now. I have to see it. Okay. Right, homie. Go. Pokeballs. Dude. What else we got around? Did you get a pre order? They sent me an email. Uh, yes. Well, no, I, uh, like, I downloaded it early. I think I have a code for heavy balls. I'm cu I want to see these things charge at me. Do these things charge at me? Oh, it's truly really bad. Are they going to charge at me? Yes, they are. Nice. Whee! Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. I'm fighting two of them? Just the one, I think just the one, yeah. Oh no, I'm fighting both of them, okay. I'm fighting both of these dudes. I think I knocked one out and sacrificed my shame. He's gonna knock me out, it's fine. Um. Got an Ocelot. That's pretty sweet. I love the battling system, I really do. Okay. So I'm just trying to look around, man. Like, I just want to see, like, what Pokemon are around here and just explore a little bit. Like, we have a freaking open world Pokemon game. Here's all the Wurmple. Watch me run into a shiny and I don't have any balls. Oh, Ponyta! Nice. Okay. Can I go across like this water or is this going to make me faint too? I can go across this. Okay, so there's some Ponyta. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Oh! An Alpha Rapidash. Huh. 
Okay. Now. We're going to save. Because I don't know what I'm doing. But I, I'm curious what happens. So this is clearly one of the Alpha Rapidash that's going to attack me, right? Oh my, okay. Oh my, oh my. Okay. Alrighty. Now. That does nothing, okay. Is Oshawa about to just get mowed over? Level 40. Yep, yep, yep. Yo, yo, yo. I was just playing. That thing was... Yes, I did turn off auto save. That thing's level 40, bro. That thing's level 40. Yeah, no thanks. I want no part of you, Rapidash. Ah! <laughs> that thing's level 40. I'm just gonna let's not do this. Goodbye. You can stop chasing me now. Oh my. Okay. Is that an Eevee? Nice. I would love to catch you, Eevee. But I don't have any Pokeballs. But it's good to know you're out here. That was a level 40. Very angry Rapidash. Okay. More Shanks. What's... Is that a shiny? Hold on. What is this? No, it's not a shiny Pokemon. What is this, though? Why is this sparkling? Why are you sparkling? What does this mean? Oh, we can rock smash. That gives us Stardust. Okay. That is sweet. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. So this is so... Dude, this is so much like Breath of the Wild, bro. This is so much like Breath of the Wild. It's not even funny. For real. Okay. What do we got up here? Is this the village? Oh, no, this is a base camp. Okay. So I can craft here though, right? Can I kind of craft Pokeballs? How much do I have? I have 20 of each. I can make 20 Pokeballs. Nice, okay. We have 20 Pokeballs now, right? Can we rest and heal? Can we rest and heal? Okay, right, cool. So that's how you heal. Item storage. Nifty. Okay. Okay, cool. So now we have Pokeballs, which is super nice. We have 20 of these bad boys now. I'm gonna go catch an Eevee. Uh, crap. I don't want to throw out a Bidoof, actually. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this now. <laughs> this is so cool. It's like Bre freaking Breath of the Wild, dude, I swear. See if we can catch it. You have 20 balls now, and I can get. Now I can get the. I ain't getting nothing about. 
I don't want to go near that rapid axe. That thing was wild. I do want to go find an Eevee now, though. I do want to go... So, 7 out of 12 times I've seen Quick Attack. So, I guess I can fight this thing again. Fight, actually, all of these, probably. Oh, that was a Pokeball. It's like a level 5 shank, so this is, if it uses Thundershock, it's going to hurt pretty good. Don't use Thundershock, please. Thank you. Nice. So that other one was shining, that where, where like that thing for the Stardust is. I wonder like if I can always break those or if it was just showing me. Let's I'll find out after this battle. Lexus, go call and go. <laughs> Thanks, Lexi. Okay, so Liza, I wonder if I can like always break these. Okay, so they gave me tumble stones. Nice. Okay, so that's how you get your supplies. Nice. I have a feeling that's gonna be pretty important. Good to know. Learning things here. This is just a level three. We should be able to take care of this one. So we just throw our Pokemon at these to get supplies, they blow it up, there's our tumble stones, which are obviously important to making Pokeballs. Okay. I want another Eevee now. And I also need to get a Wurmple for the homie that wanted a Wurmple. I think they said throwing them like at these trees is important too. Let's see here. I am too. I'm very excited to shiny hunt as well. I need to, like I said, I need to find, those Wurmple I think we're over on the other side there. These are medical leaks. Okay. I guess I can catch a rapid ash. What level are you, five? I hope this doesn't one shot you. Okay. Yeah, I'm really excited to shiny hunt in this game. Things will be fun. There's our Ponyta. Nice, I just caught it. Sweet. Get some tumble stones. Alright, Eevee, Eevee, where are you? This is so much like Breath of the Wild, for real. There's the Rapidash, I want no part of you. You stay over there. You stay over there, I want no part of you. Where did I see that Eevee? Was it like a rare spawn or something? There's the wormhole I need. Okay. Now I can just give that wormhole to homie. He, he gains experience for doing that for me. That's kind of nice. Okay. Um. Okay. I'll go ahead and just progress. I'll find an Eevee again eventually. Sure. Nope. No. No plans to hang out with that Rapid Ash again. Is 
That sound just reminds me of Breath of the Wild, man. Seriously. This is a new kind of berry, isn't it? Oh, you hear apricorns. Okay, nice. I need those for Pokeballs. Uh, if you don't have a Pidgey or even a real trainer, I haven't seen him. Is Pidgey even in this game? I don't think it. I don't even know Pidgey's in this game. You obtain a crafting kit. Kit containing everything you might need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. You only use the materials you have in your satchel. Nice. Well, I can make Pokeballs from anywhere. That's nice. And a recipe for potions, which it seems like I medically, I'm sure, are going to be one orange berry and one. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, the cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there's tasks you finish and can report. I think I can... Alright. Pass with unreported data, 23. Yeah, we're doing okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot of that Rapidash. Ponyta, number user, so we have to defeat some. Nice. Yeah. Did you ever tie it for life? <laughs> Let's defeat some Starlies. I startled it by catching it unaware. Goodbye. So you can stun them and keep them from attacking. If you do that, like when they can't see you, that's nice. Okay. Good to know. Oh, it just ran away. Okay. Haven't seen that before. Okay. Oshawott leveled up. What's this dude do? Uh, have a rest in that tent at one of the base camps. Okay. I can go, like, up these hills. Is that a thing? Go up these hills at all? Don't appear so. Okay. Need some berries. Okay. Cherry berries. Okay. What direction haven't I been? I haven't gone too far this way, have I? is like rustling up there. Can I get up there? They're way over there without being able to like swim. Really? Do I have to go all the way around though? That's gonna kind of suck. I don't think I can. That's too deep. If not Breath of the Wild, if you can't climb literally everything, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't think I've caught one of these yet either. It's only level 3. Man. I think it should be able to take it out pretty easily though. One shot. Bro, can I not battle you from like across here? Yeah, there we go. Is chilling in the water. 
Level two, which should be another easy one shot. Oh, it was not. Okay. That should do it. This is interesting. What's over here? The choke. Oh, I need surf. What point do I get surf so I go exploring more? And can I get over there somehow? I don't think I can. Like, I don't think I can get across to go like up all that. I mean, it is at the very beginning of the game, so that kind of makes sense, I guess. But, but I need Surf to, like, further explore things. I do like that you can kind of do that stuff and keep walking. Horseshoe planes. Oh, so you can climb up some of these things. Okay. Dude, this music reminds me of Breath of the Wild, too. Flew away. No, bye, Starly. Sad day. All right, let's go back to the thing and report all our research tasks. Use your parachute glider. I get a parachute glider at some point later. Well, the, in the form of a Staraptor. out your bow and arrows. <laughs> Let's go back to base and report all our tasks. Give me all the supplies, though. Let's report everything. What's up, Jacob? All right. Survey reports and the rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, you'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You'll receive more money if you fulfill a certain condition, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed. Good bit, I feel like. Almost 2,000 bucks. Take it. I see most illuminating. I'll update your Pokedex with this new da data. By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise Pokemon's entry level to 10, that entry will be considered complete, and you'll have unlocked all the detailed information about that species. Dude, I, I'm pretty excited. I'm just, I'm just now like, you know, like an hour-ish in, but it's fun. Uh, you'll gain Pokemon research points when you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition Team. So, we basically need to complete all those, like, various things. Okay, gotcha. Nifty. Okay. Not quite there yet, or you'll need to complete a few more research tasks before you're ready to go up a rank. I'd recommend work for your way through Bidoof's and Starly's task. Hey, how about you, uh, give me surf. That's what I really want. 
I wonder if you encounter different Pokemon at night and stuff. Alright, so let's go look at Bidoof and Starly stuff. What all do we need to do? We need to catch a bunch of them. We need to catch some without being spotted. Defeat some. Stuff like that. Okay. Once you complete a plate uh, full of that Pokemon, the easier it will be to shiny hunt. Nice. That's great. I'm getting dressed to go open my coffee soon. Nice, dude. I'm so... I'm... I'm excited to play this thing so much. I think we do need to craft more Pokeballs. Oh yeah, we got plenty. All right. And let's do some potions, I guess. All right, there we go. I want that Eevee though. What do we need to do with Bidoof? Number of heavy specimens you've caught. Number of defeated, so we need to defeat some Bidoofs and stuff like that. Okay. We need to catch some. We need to. Oh, I can catch multiple at a time? That's oh he he busted out run for it. Where'd homie go? Come here. I need to catch some of these without being spotted. Darn you, Starly. There's some shanks. This one, because I know we have to defeat a whole bunch of things. So we can use wood. Okay. For something. I don't know what we use wood for, but we can use it for something, apparently. We need to defeat two more of these things at least. Holy. Okay. Um. Send out our Oshawott. Oh, I thought I was sending out my Oshawott. I guess not. Oh, are we gonna get lucky? Yes, we are. One HP, gang. <laughs> what our Oshawott? Yeah, okay. Go ahead and fight it. Hopefully it doesn't wreck us, but it's a level six. It should be fine. Oh, we learned Sword Stance. Okay, cool. 
didn't realize we learned Swords Dance. Oh, that didn't kill it. Rip. Alright, that's 10 out of 10. Defeated. I don't know what's that. It's starting to become like dusk. Will we see different Pokemon at dusk? Oh, that's an alpha. Okay. Yo, I don't I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble. I don't want any trouble, my friend. Just moving along here. I don't want any trouble. I'm gonna move along here, mind my business. Oh, is that a Pichu? Hold up. <laughs> That's new. Yo, I kinda don't need to like defeat this thing. Can I just like, come on. I'd like to use a Pokeball. Let's try to catch it. It's level five. Yeah, okay. That's a new species for us. Nice. Ooh. Missed. Look, bust it out. No. fight it now. That's fine. Oh, it's level 18? This could be bad for us. This could be bad for us. I didn't realize this thing was level 18. No wonder it busted out. Do we just get wrecked or do we have a chance? I think we just get wrecked. Kind of think we just get wrecked, but let's try. Let's try. shot us. We're almost out of Pokemon. I need to be careful. About to get a crap ton of experience. Music. Ooh, more wild Pokemon over there. I don't like this music. Okay. Can you headbutt this thing? Yeah, what's that? Black Tumble Stone, okay. I wonder what the Black Tumble Stone does. probably rest up but because all my Pokemon are like fainted but
Okay. Oh, what level these things are. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to fight you, being honest here. Alright, what's this way? Can I just, like, climb up the mountain? Where's this take us? They won't let us go all the way up, will it? Oh, can we? Can we, though? Can we? Oh, okay. Over here. Okay. Is that drift loom? That's a drift loom. fight this thing. Do I have a Shinx? I don't have another Shinx. Whoa! Okay. Oh, put me to sleep? Interesting. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and catch the Shinx. I can have something to battle this freaking drift looms with because I would like a drift loom. I think that's kind of sweet. Okay, let's see here. So if I catch this thing, I should be able to at least battle the. Oh, my Bidoof's over there. I didn't realize that. Don't kill it. Get it? No! We're very low on Pokemon. Another Shinx. All right. What is over here? It's Sixty meters or whatever away. Oh, back. Oh, okay, so we did a giant circle. Okay, gotcha. How are we doing now, Professor? Shinx research level is 10. So that's complete, which is nice. Do we rank up? Let's head back to the village and report your good news to the captain. Nice. So we ranked up. Sweet. I gotta use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back.
All right, here we go. Uh, where's the homie that wanted the worm pool as well? I don't remember which homie wanted the worm pool. Do you? Yes. Here's your worm pool. Name the worm pole. What are those names? <laughs> You're gonna name it Beautifred. <laughs> Give me some dazzling honey, whatever that is. Alright. Now let's go in here. We have to rank up, dude. Oh, you've made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. Yeah, I have. But that's you first to attain the rank of five, uh, first star in the Gal Galaxy Expedition Team. That's a lot of stars. Ten of them, specifically. You now use heavy balls. Pokemon of up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Nice. Have these as well, there, for the recipes you'll need for crafting. Nice. Thank God, we can do uh, freaking revives now, too. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on the face value alone. Improving your worth by moving up through the ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make your life for yourself here. Cool. But when do I get Surf? For a day, at least, you've earned yourself a meal with the wallflower and a good night's rest. Thanks. I also need a save. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Damn, emoji tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. So we'll be very busy from now on between our survey corps duties and requests from folks here, which reminds me, have you already taken on that request? Yes, I did. People of Jubilee aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see, so problems arise, the Survey Corps gets called to help. Some people will ask for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently? Uh, I was thinking about you see if I could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Uh, Diamond Clan. People of the Diamond Clan come live here in Hisui since before the Galaxy Team arrived. We can establish good relations. I'm sure there's much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. If we could discuss all that tomorrow for today, we should rest. Ugh. Okay. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. Sure. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training ground. I've had a lot of Pokemon. You may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. Yeah, where do I do that? I want to change up my team for sure. How do I do that? Where's the training ground? Where are the pastures that I changed my team at? How do I do that? I would like to figure that out.
Uh, I'm out here getting trolled in Slash, waiting for the mail. <laughs> I haven't played Slash yet. Guys, are we about to battle? I would like to add my Drifling to... Where do I change my team at? How do I change? Thanks for coming, I know you're busy. What's this? See, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got work together to complete the decks. Oh, she has a Pikachu. Okay. When we were attacked by those shinks, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle... Uh, is it really? I, just, I haven't played it. Ever since then, my partner's refused to listen to anything I tell him. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him. How to guide him in battle. Bigga. When I saw you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we need to do more too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Okay. So I don't think I've healed my team, so that's not ideal. Wait, did I sleep? No? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, they're healed. Bye. Sorry, Doctor. Yo, I don't need three Bidoofs on my team, though. So I would really like to be able to change my team. Where do I do that? Could be wrong, but for a moment I felt like Pichu and I finally understood one of each other. He kind of got two shot. Uh, I'm sleepy. But still strive to work more as a team than my partner the way you do. Sorry, your Pikachu sucks. Professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make it big. Yeah, no crap. Oh, they gave us a type chart now. That's kind of cool. You're one that new recruits everyone talking about. Who are you? You're kind of goofy looking. Zisu, Captain of the Security Corps. You do look scary. I see you've got to fight you, Peter. I stop by. Uh, give what advice I could. I have got to stop yawning. Captain Zizu is a master of ancient material art and one specializes in Pokemon battles. Now, listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On hand, you deliver a move in the strong style. Move, deal more damage, but afterwards it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On another hand, you can choose to unleash agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. In truly favorable conditions, it might get even better to use uh, out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile moves, and of course regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation. Direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. I forgot about the different styles. Which Pokemon has mastered move, you can use it uh, with Agile or Strong by pressing the L or R, the left or right, uh, when selecting a move in battle. Sometimes your Pokemon will naturally master a move and unlock these exercises simply by leveling up. Cool. One more thing, if you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Now I suppose it's time you went and meet my... Remember I mentioned the wallflower that could help uh, with Mai's request? I'm on the way to meet her down past the photo of Asperger's Hill. You should come as well. Once you've readied your Pokemon team, perhaps had them learn some new moves. Yeah, how the heck do I change my team? That's what I would like to know. Pokemon can master the moves or new moves. Hello, the survey court. Do you need something from me? I want to map new moves. This is the move tutor. Ah, nice. 
Ace. Sweet. Okay. I wouldn't mind an aerial ace, honestly. That'd be kind of sweet. False swipe would also be sweet. We're going to learn false swipe and aerial ace. Alright. Oh. Wait, this is just to teach it new moves. I really want to, like... Now, how do I change my team? Like, for real. Items. I guess I probably need to save, too. But, how do I change my freaking team? Anyone know how to change your team? Anyone? Like, that feels like a really dumb question, but... How do I do it? That's something about the training grounds, your quarters, front gate. Arm. How do I do it? Actually didn't want in here. I wanted to go into my like house area. That's the like headquarters or whatever. Um Yes. You want a Starly? I have a Starly for you. stuff too. Okay. Item storage. Okay. So many more places to go. Outside of this field lands. Rillo, how the crap do I change my team? <laughs> That seems like such a dumb question that you know the answer to. I know. <clears throat> oh, hello, mister. That surprised you, but I did. I was trying to anyway. There's a secret technique to catch a Pokemon, you see. What I call the secret back strike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it catch and give it an advantage. Okay. From behind for a higher chance of successful catcher to gain advantage. Battling secret backstrike. Okay. Uh, we're going to create the Pokemon Edge. You might end up being it. Okay, cool. I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Power button. <laughs> Bring out Pokemon along. Our team members stationed at base camp to help you swap what Pokemon you're carrying. So I need to go to my base camp. Where is my base? Hold up. Right here. You let me change my team.
Thank you. Okay, finally. Move. You come here. Um. You. Five. Five. Okay. Let's try this. We'll go with that. I'd like to buy some revives for you. Okay. I think I'm healed up, but... Sorry guys, I'm here. Alright. Alright, here we go. Sorry about that. We're rested up now. My party is weak because they're all under leveled, but here we are. Let's go do this thing. I kind of need to like battle and power up some of these mons that I just put in the party. I've mastered, so if I do R, that's strong style tackle. Okay. Gotcha. Cool. So I've mastered tackle, so I can strong style it. Nice. Oh. Okay. I need to catch some Starly that aren't looking at me. Munch laps. You made strong Pokemon make their way on this bridge. I can let you pass and let you go first. Oh, at your rank, you should be fine. Go on then. No, it. Your guard down. So now we get to go into new areas. Nice. Okay. Is this Shinx still after me? Okay. Over here. Mine, this is Sea Money. My new face in the village. Uh, not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I am. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai, but you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. 
such talk and wait right now. Rather, we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Yes. That's good to hear. The security corpse of uh, yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This is my partner Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Oh, I'm about to battle this thing? Okay. Alrighty. What level is he? Am I under leveled? No, oh, we're good. Strong style tackle this thing. I didn't know a thing. Oh god. this bad boy. Yeah, I figured it out. Lying though. Uh, you're not lying though. <laughs> Imagine having to use two potions to beat a munchlax. I bet you I get a bunch of experience though. Yeah, level up my new pawns to beat it. Aqua J animations. I do a lot of the animations are so good. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon in the battle for us. Thank you. I'll let you have these. What you giving me? Bit of a chokes, those do revives, I think. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble. Uh, are we about to get the weird ear? It's a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha, but you'll come on to. As long as it's not an effing level 40, like the freaking Rapidash I saw. Oh, Arceus is calling me. Hello, Arceus. That thing you have, it's showing you where you go, isn't it? My my, that's some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions? Nope, it's from Arceus. Because God calls me. It certainly does seem, God calls me on my cell phone. It certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. Alright, let's go catch us a big fat weird ear that we can ride around on. Do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? So what is that to be expected? Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all the time. It's said to have created the very... So they call Arceus Almighty Sinnoh. It's by grace the Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of Diamond Clan are descendants of a Pokemon who crossed the sea and settled here in Hisui to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself up from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. I've seen him. He sent me here. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it's duty of wardens like myself to attend to these needs. Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from the Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Yo, I don't know if you know this, but me me and Almighty Sinnoh, we tight. Hey, don't you run away from me. Oh, it did run away from me, dang it. Oh, I did not mean to do that and waste that thing. I'm like falling apart here. Oh, 
falling apart. Did I catch you? Okay, nice. I don't want a cricket tot, but I imagine I need to catch it for the freaking decks. Um. Startled it. Nice. I need to catch three more, Charlie. special delivery Badoof. Uh, kind of wish it was, so I, you know, it would be worth something. Uh, I want you to bust this for me. Please, Rapidat, or Ponyta. Get you a little experience in, because you're weak as crap. Actually, I probably should battle with one of these. Let's battle it with the Rapidash. Or, I keep calling it Rapidash, the Ponyta. Get our Ponyta some battle in. go. Battle the Starly. Oh, we burned it. Nice. I ran. So you can't really battle Starly. They kind of just run away, it seems. Why is this tree shaking? Why is this tree shaking? Question mark. Ah, that's why. Because there's a Pokemon in it. Good to know that's a thing. I was like, you run out of Pokeballs really fast. Really fast. No, I don't want to run away. I want to use... No, I don't want to switch to Oshawott either. God, I've got to figure out the controls. He's better. I want to freaking use a Pokeball. Geodude up there. Interesting. Okay. Yes, here you go. What you gonna give me now? Thank you. Oh, he gave me 15 Pokeballs. Let's go. There's some Geodude, which is kind of random. Let's fight a Geodude. Catch it. Sock legit one shot this dude. Probably. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Here, I'll find more Geodudes. I'm still salty that there's a freaking Eevee early on that I didn't catch. Go ahead and just tackle on you. Oh gosh, that does nothing but freaking Aqua Jet one shots it. This thing's kind of bopping me.
Oh, I did. I wanted to switch out, not do that, rip. Oh, it's because you have to piss. Oh my gosh. I've got one of the controls better. Now I switch out. It's fine. I really needed to. Gotta tackle it one more time. Is there? Am I having issues? Am I having issues? There shouldn't be. I should just one shot this thing. We're gonna bet on me one shotting this thing. Okay, we stunned it though. So that's okay. There should be an audio delay, but let me know if it's having issues. So that's not ideal. Okay, I'm going to use Oops. potion on Oshawott. The game audio is behind. Huh. Really? Do I need to like reset the game? Hold on a second. Let me restart my switch, maybe. Um, let me save. I did save right. Okay. Let me restart my switch. It's not. Let's turn it all the way off instead of just sleep. How do you, like, turn off the whole thing? Actually, is there an update or anything? Like, your words are synced to your cam, but the audio is behind the tag. What the heck? So is it the whole stream or just the switch? Like, is it my voice, too, or just the switch? That's the other thing I want to know. Just the switch. I try this. Oh, let me unplug it real quick, too. Let's try now. what happens one second here let me get this one second I mean, I'm literally just pulling it into OBS. And it's using a Elgato HCS. All right, tell me if like the sounds are like are the clicks lined up? I didn't mean to go to Brilliant Diamond. I just unplugged the capture card. And plugged it back in, and so I completely reset the capture card. Is this any better?
Is that lined up now? Or no? So your current sounds exist, but it's like there's an overlay audio. What the heck? So like, are you hearing the sounds and then you're hearing them again? Hold on. So like, are you hearing the I hear, sounds I see what you're saying. you're hearing them again? What the heck? I'm like watching the stream. What the heck? I am not sure. Other, I guess I can restart the stream. Let me do that. Let me restart, I guess. Um, and we'll see what happens. Let me, like, completely close out OBS and see what happens. Oh, wait. That does the map. Uh... Why is it that brings up the...